Hi everybody, my name is Hana and I am from Highcom Accounting. Highcom Accounting is an accounting firm and a tax agent. Welcome to our Tuesday Tax Tip channel. Today is our episode number 11. In the last two episodes of ours, number 9 and number 10, we already talked about different tax types for different business types. Today, I would like to talk about registering your business and if you are business owners or if you having an intention of opening up your business, wondering about what other things that you need to register when opening up a business, this video is for you. The first thing is ABN, Australian Tax Filing Number. Regardless of which business types that you are going to run your business, sole trader, partnership, company or trust, you are requested to have an ABN. The second thing is TFN, Tax Filing Number. Only when running your business as a sole trader, you will not need to have a separate tax file number since it will be using your personal tax file number. However, for all other types of businesses like partnership, company or choice, you are requested to have a separate TFN. You or your accountant can register for your business tax file number when registering for your business IBN. The third thing is GST, Goods and Service Tax. GST is compulsory if your business turnover or expected turnover to be more than 75,000 per year. When registering for GST, you can either register for GST on quarterly or annually basis. However, if your business makes more than 75,000 per year, it is compulsory for you to do GST on quarterly basis. The fourth thing is PAYG withholding, pay as you go withholding. Should you decide to hire employees or have staffs in your business, you probably need to think about PAYG withholding, withhold your staff tax, report to the ATO and make the payment to the ATO. There are other registrations that as a business owner you probably need to be aware of for example like ACN, Australian company number. Should you decide to run your business as a company, you also need to register for an ACN or FTC fuel and oil tax credit or FBT fringe benefit tax. There you go you guys, that's it for this week. I hope it is enough for you to prompt the right question for your accountants when registering your business. Otherwise, it is always recommended to register your business through a registered tax agent. And if you would like Highcom Accounting to take care of your business, we will be able to support you. Please like and share our page and also to stay up to date with more tax tips. See you next week.